Time for entertainment news now, and Africa's biggest film studios are set to open in Cape Town. The project has already started to boost the local economy by creating thousands of jobs during the construction phase, many of which will become permanent once the studios are fully operational. Film industry stakeholders see the new look and vision for the Cape Town Film Studios unveiled this week. The studio's chairman, Anand Singh, said that South Africa's filmmakers are able to compete with the best in the world. Uh, when you look at the, the creative and technical uh, excellence that we have in South Africa, um, and you see the kind of quality of films that we've made, uh, they are world class and they can stand as good if not better than the best in the world. Singh is the CEO of Video Vision Entertainment, a significant shareholder in these film studios. He has produced a number of South Africa's most famous protest films, including the screen adaptation of Alan Payton's Cry the Beloved Country, Sarafina, The Stick and The Place of Waiting. Cape Town Mayor Helen Ziller added that the film studios will transform Cape Town into an international brand. I'm hoping that Cape Town will be more and more a location for great feature films, that we will feature more in the films, that we will make more films, and that we will become a really powerful international brand in the process. The site is 200 hectares, of which 100 hectares will remain as unspoiled wetlands, ensuring that the environment is protected and preserved. The rest will be dedicated to film and film-related use. Of the 100 hectares to be developed, explains studio CEO Nico Decker, 70% is earmarked for studio use. The remaining 30% is intended for residential, commercial and retail developments. I do believe that we're entering a bright new age of filmmaking in South Africa and that this studio that is still busy to be born will play a significant role to breathe new life and beauty into our industry. Singh added that high quality film training facilities for crews will be established, which will ensure that movie production in Africa is taken to a new level. What we're trying to do is build a world class studio, um, you know, as good as anywhere in the world, uh, techni technologically, um, you know, uh, you, if you're in, in Cape Town or you're in New York or London, you would get a better uh, service, better quality of product in Cape Town uh, and as good technically as anywhere else in the world. Um, I'll be honest with you and tell you that I have worked all over the world as a producer and, and including having come from Los Angeles, my native home, uh, that Cape Town, specifically Cape Town in South Africa, is, is one of the most diverse locations anywhere in the world. So add that to the new studios, get a winning combination. The studio overlooks local areas such as Makasa, Kayalicha, Blue Downs and Eerste River area. Singh says it will act as an investment catalyst which will directly benefit disadvantaged communities. More than 8,000 jobs were created during the construction period, many of which will be permanent once the film studio is operational.